Waiting for the video to load, making sure that everything is good. Appears to be great. Ah, I got a new headset. Everyone can hear me, and hopefully not everything in my house. It's very exciting. Uh, so playing Star Trek Online today, it is free to play, and a new expansion is coming out very soon, um, in May, I think, or April. It doesn't matter, it's the Romulan expansion, and I will be playing it, uh, so I just wanted to get a little refresher on how to actually play the base game. You have the option to do a Federation character, a Klingon character, and you have to be level 4 on a Federation character to unlock uh, the ability to play Klingon. You have your three options here, Engineering, Science, and Tactical. Uh, tactical is uh, more of a tanky spec. Science is more Healy buffs, and Engineering is more DPS. At least I'm pretty sure that's right. But they've all got like control and shielding abilities and lots of really cool stuff like that. And I'm going to pick Tactical. And then you've got your races, of which there are tons. And they all have different bonuses. Um, or you can pick an alien and go for your own bonuses. And uh, quite naturally, I didn't decide what race I wanted to be before I started streaming today because I have no excuses. <laughs> um... Let's do Trill. Uh, it's got your, your traits pulls that it automatically picks for you, or you can customize your traits. Um, I'm gonna go with just what it gives to me. Uh, and then you can choose face, or in true cryptic style, lots of advanced options for customizing your character. Um, because going through them all would take Ever. I am just going to pick a base. The hair is awesome. A base variant. Uh, same thing with uniforms. Wait, that's my body. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. And lots and lots of different uniforms. Very cool stuff happening in here. I'm gonna pick that one. But you can also come in here and go advanced, and there's. Lots of options. There's even more once you get in-game, if you uh, choose to purchase them. Ah, yes. The USS Frederick. What a noble name. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the globe. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. But he didn't. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and attacked the Vega colony. 
The Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. I think the Borg are still pretty terrifying. Actually, so is the Dominion, but okay. Ooh, I, this seems new. Some doors will open as you approach them. I certainly hope so. This is Star Trek. I always turn around and face the door. I don't know why. You don't have to. It's just some sort of habit that I have. Like, I want this to be... You know, if I was really on a turbo lift, I'd be facing the door. Probably. I wouldn't go backwards. <laughs> what a crazy habit. <laughs> Things you don't notice until you're showing other people how you play games. I need your help, Ensign. Use your tricorder to scan one of the patients. Your data will be uploaded to me automatically. There are advantages to being a hologram. When you're done, report back to me. Having some latency issues, it looks like. Not with bad. the game. Lieutenant Phyllis is working on... I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files of military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Just wanted to listen to that because he's pretty snarky. That's fun. Wow, what is going on? I don't want to turn graphics down, but Jesus Christ. See if it makes a difference. Not a single bit of difference. Not, um... No problems with uploading to the stream. No problems with my... Frames. It's weird. We're gonna uh, blow some Borg out the airlock. Along with some space junk. This is really bad.
So if I destroy one of those, as it's telling me here, near a Borg, it will kill the Borg. For reasons I don't understand, since this is their own technology. And I'm gonna palm him in the face. Success. That was an alien. Right? I'm having crazy lag. Are you having lag? Okay, so this is where you get to pick your first bridge officer they serve on board your vessel. Um, and I am going to go for a science bridge officer. And... oops. You, you do get more than one, um, and the bigger your ship is, the, the more you end up having. So as you advance in levels, you get lots of bridge officers. God, what is going on? Okay, well I guess I'm getting a tactical bridge officer, because I cannot talk to the other one. Oh, I have to talk to all of them. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on. Because while I... <sighs> Alright, I'm going to pop out chat. Um, hopefully I can still see it and actually close out my stream. Uh, maybe that will decrease some of the lag I'm having? No, didn't do anything. And then, okay, so it's giving me a tactical officer right off the bat. Um, which you can customize to match your uniform, you can change their faces and their names and their skills and all that as well. Uh, and now I have been made the acting captain of my ship. 
So I have to um, go and rescue some other ships. I forgot how to accelerate. Hit the button! Ship combat can be pretty fun. I f did find it a little slow at the beginning. Uh, but once you start upgrading to your higher level ships, it gets more fun. In my opinion, some people would disagree and say that it's fun the whole time. And that's how we play games, right? Kill some Borg. These skills right here are what my ship can do, so I've got some lasers and I've got some photon torpedoes. Gotta be within 10 kilometers. You can also set your weapons to auto attack, which mine are not doing. Last damage from ship explosions will hurt you. I'm gonna move my where my cam is located. Hold on a second. It's blocking the map. That's better. When you go and beam down, you get to choose your away party. Obviously, the more bridge officers you have, um, you get more options. Get a kit, which I already know enough about, but you can find out uh, all about them. I get a new sniper rifle. And some armor. Pretty sure that's armor anyway. And I automatically equipped my sniper thing since I only had one other weapon.
you know, just saving colonists. That's how I do things. I'm not gonna save that colonist. Oh, I'm gonna have to, never mind. It's like I only have to save four. Why would I save another one? Psh. Give me one second. I hate to start tweaking stuff in the middle uh, in the middle of stream, but clearly something is happening that it's making it not as smooth as it could be, and I don't like that. I don't. Uh. She must have grenades. I think I can turn my graphics back up now, too. Ah, so much better. This is a- why are they walking backwards? Oh. <laughs> this is a very pretty game. And it's a shame to not be able to run full graphics. Look at the weird board device. If you're a Star Trek fan, this certainly has enough uh, nerdy moments to satisfy. skill points. I'll be able to level up. I think I already can. So it wants me to do my first uh, full-scale Borg battle now. So I've got a little ways to go. Currently I have 4,500 skill points to spend. Um, every time you rank up it costs skill points. See, that costs a thousand. So you can pick where your skill points are allocated. What, if you want to be doing damage, if you want to be doing control or healing, um, or a little bit of everything. Hey, what? Damn it. That's what I get for talking. It's already destroyed. I'm gonna need to find a Borg cube to destroy now. Wasn't fast enough. There's one. Way over that way. You have to be within ten meters to fire. Um, so. So around the board cube you can see the different colors there. That's how low their shield is on a specific side. I've also got the same thing. I'm doing really bad on my right side. I need to flip around. I can also allocate more shields to the right. Take some away from another area. Thank <laughs> you. 
to make a fine starship captain. Yes. And now I am level one. I'm gonna get to uh, Earth. Or Soul Sector. So you can be done with the tutorial um, in half an hour, which I think is completely reasonable. We are now at Earth Space Dock, and I'll be able to dock and go do some stuff. I can also see all of the other ships that are docked here, including this really cool looking ship that looks like it's integrated some port technology. I don't know anything about the new ships, and so I am out of the loop, but they look really cool. Dock. I don't think it had to be that close, but I just like flying up to the space station. There's a lot of room for roleplay if you're into that sort of thing. Not the kinky kind, just the regular kind. <laughs> Quests do not always guide you by a pretty blue line, but this one does. <laughs> because learning your way around, um, Earth space stuck can be fun if you're me because I am directionally impaired don't tell as far as I remember they don't really give you any instruction on skilling up so let's go through that 6,000 points now uh, and these kind of tell you what they do so that improves my weapon damage which sounds like, uh, sounds like a good time. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Weapon damage! I think you can also c increase sp uh, specific weapon damage. Torpedoes or phasers or... Whatever. Um, don't hold me to that, because I never made it to max level. Because I'm really bad at making it to max level in games. He likes me, he wants me to take command, he's gonna give me a console, and uh, which allows me to use an officer in that station, and there you go. So that increases, uh, yeah, warp speed and full impulse. And I like for my ships to go fast. So there you go. Um, that's not who it used to be. Oh, it's gonna show a nerdy thing, but that's not the same person anymore. So in the mission log, 
um, you can see things that other people have made in the Foundry episodes, which are story arcs, um, and you can just do episodes to get through the game. You don't necessarily even have to do the side missions, which is awesome. And some of the story ties into the show and the movies, uh, which is really awesome. Um, I've never actually done a Foundry mission, I don't think, in this game. So, it wants me to... I already talked to him. Um, so I have to... Go into space. Beam up to my ship. I can show off the inside of my ship while we're here, too. Because what's the point of showing you the game if I don't show off the fun bits? It's somewhere around here. I'm just gonna pretend I remember and I don't. I don't at all. This one. That was right. Inside is very big for a very tiny ship. Oh, come on. Very necessary for a captain to be able to sit on his bridge. And there's also captain's quarters uh, where you can display trophies and stuff. If you have any. And I don't. We're gonna go to engineering real quick. Because warp cores are fun. If I remember where it's at, because I definitely do not. There it is. Oh, it's my warp core. Okay, that's all I wanted. I am easily amused. Also, go to Starfleet Headquarters on Earth in San Francisco, which are very fun to go to. However, I think that you should just download the game and log in and go there for yourself. My friends sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew, a thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. So I think that sector space is really pretty, and it looks very cool. However, it can be prettier and look cooler if you disable astrometrics. Astrometrics. There's a little bit of lore, Wolf 359 there. If you're a Next Generation fan, you know what happened there. And on my Anito map, I can see where I have to go, which is the SS Azura, right there. So I will go there faster. Pretty sure I can turn off names and stuff here as well. I just uh, choose not to for ease. This quest is going to give us some cool space and ground battles, from what I remember. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh shoot. I forgot to equip my bridge officer. If I can. My ship button was. That's not it. There it is. Nope. Oh, yes, again. There we go. And with her equipped, I get. High yield torpedoes, which just lets me fire more than one. Come out from behind the rock. Come on. Oh, we're inside the rock. whole team of security with me. No medical. No engineers. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna turn around. I'm just gonna do it. There's a plasma leak. Oh. Okay then. I think I was supposed to go the other way. Put me in. Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> That's what happens when we try to rely on very faulty memory. Um, I do not recommend doing that. Boom. There is loot for me. The mini lockbox has stuff. I don't know what kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure you have to buy a key with real money. But hey, this game is free to play. That's sort of the point. Not that door.
Look, I found another one. Uh, no, I am not in my bowl right at the moment. Because I'm being a slacker. I will be, but once I'm done with this stream. Not that door. Oh, awesome. Did you get your did you get it back? There was it. <laughs> I feel like that every time I come back and play, like I always have to respect because I've got no idea what's happening. Just need to start from scratch or something. Ah. I wouldn't doubt it. From what I know, they changed things. But you know, I play once every six months, so. I'm clearly not the expert. I think they're changing skills again, too, with the uh, expansion. The thing. Oh. Okay. It's a little more clear. <laughs> um, Voral, I think, is your best bet for advice. He was my last, uh, the last person I asked for advice. Because I was just like, I've got no idea what to do. Put points on everything! Buy all the ships! That's not the way to do it. So I hear. I wish I had a voice. I feel weird. The Azura's radiation levels are returning to normal. There. We don't have much time. Get these people off the ship now. Um. I, I, there probably is, yeah. But where you would locate it is, you would be as good at finding it as I would. Not three? You haven't made it there yet? We have them, sir. I just act out a whole episode by myself. I'm a lady, not a sir. What? Use what transporter? Oh. Derp. <laughs> I strive for the highest level of commentary, my dear Titan. I do. I'm going to play Smite with you one day, Titan. Because I like it, and I also play it. And I just saw your uh, Necro thread. So.
Oh, we're good. Terrible at smite? Or terrible at Mass Effect? What, did, what are we talking about? I'm gonna destroy some Orion ships with some hot ladies on them. Please come back later. What is Trek Beyond? I feel like I'm losing nerd cred for not knowing the answer to that. look over at my chat and I don't even know what's happening anymore. I want to play StarCraft 2 with you guys, but yes, I haven't picked it up either, and also everybody would kick my butt. Again, some more. Why can't I move my ship? Oh. <laughs> I will take all the loot. All the loot. All the loot. Um, what is going on in this game presently is I'm doing a space mission. Um, so there was some storyline. Blah, blah, blah. I'm rescuing a guy. Attempting to get transport to lock on Captain Brat, sir. That's because you weren't here at the beginning. This is a first hour newbie tutorial, noobs. Keep up. It is an MMO. I'm not a Klingon, so I do not get a Batleth slash sword. And I don't have a healer because nobody loves me. How do I hail Starfleet? Oh, there it was. I found it. Sexy Trill, not sexy Andorian. I will get some things. Um, I leveled! What? Make my ship go faster. Make me do more damage. I can't do that. Damn it. Oh, I don't actually have enough points to do anything. <laughs> it's a party. Oh, I'm going the right way. Let's see. Um, 51 minutes. 
So that covers the tutorial and the first mission, and I don't have time to do the second mission. But so that's basically a uh, first hour in Newbland. I know you guys don't care, but for when I upload this to YouTube, somebody might. So I am going to end my stream now and get in Mumble for people like Woot who might want to talk to me about Star Trek or other things. Thank you guys for coming in here.